Hey, this is Al Bain from Al Bain for Leather, and we're going to talk about the Cobra Class 4 sewing machine and the fine points about the needle hook timing and the needle hook timing inspection. Okay, so as everybody knows, the Cobra Class 4 operates with a needle, and above it, there's this part called the needle bar. You can see my finger touching it. The needle bar is composed of a rod that goes all the way up into the head of the machine. Okay, and typically they're silver, so this is the needle bar itself, and then below it, right here where my fingernail is, there's a seam that introduces the needle holder. That's where that little screw holds the needle so that you can add or, re or replace your needle. Okay, so typically what we want to do to check that the needle bar is in proper position is cycle the machine all the way to the top dead center, and then you're going to look underneath the machine's head Okay, and see this little square rectangle shaped part, that's the needle bar bushing, or it's a guide that keeps the needle bar going up and down in the right p position. I can't get the machine to focus here. Okay, so then right here, that's the top or the bottom of the needle bar and the top of the needle clamp. You want to see about an eighth of an inch of needle bar below that clamp. If you see much less than that, what has probably happened is that you've struck the needle and jam the needle bar up inside its holder. Okay, so we're going to pivot around here. I've removed the cover plate off of my machine so that I can show you where that needle bar is going up into the head, into this little little driver, and all the way in, into this cam wheel that's back there. It's hard to see, but you can see these two Allen screws, and they're clamping the needle bar. So it's only friction holding the needle bar in place. So if you've jammed your needle bar all the way up and you don't see any space on that bushing anymore, then what you have to do is loosen those two screws, move the needle bar back down into position, and tighten them up. Okay, And theoretically your machine is going to be back in time. That shock of jamming the needle has probably pushed your hook out of time, but at least your needle bar is in relative position. Okay, so we're going to look at the relationship between the needle, the eye of the needle specifically, and the needle deflector. Okay, so relate to what we're looking at. We're looking at the inside of the, of the hook compartment. The shuttle has been removed, the feed dog has been removed, and now the needle is at the bottom dead center of the stroke. Okay, and what we want to see is the eye of the needle. I wish I could focus this thing. There you go. The eye of the needle is not going below the deflector. If it were to go to below the deflector, what inevitably is going to happen is on the operator's right side of the needle, the the loop of thread is going to get there, and it's going to get pinched between the deflector and the needle and get cut. Okay, so it's very critical that that eye be just above the bottom of the deflector. Let's see if we can get it to focus so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Right there. Come on. Bear with me, please. Okay, there we go. So you can see the eye of the needle, and you can see the deflector and you cannot see any light below that needle. So if you have to adjust it, loosen the two screws that are up here in the holder. Let me cycle it, so there you, there you go, right there. Those are the two screws. Loosen it, move it up, and then retighten it, and then check again. Cycle the machine a full revolution. Do, do, do. Here we go, cycling, cycling. Needle comes to the bottom dead center and there's no light. So then your needle and the deflector are in proper position. Okay, so then make note of what that looks like when the needle bar goes all the way to the top. And you got about an eighth of an inch there. So by a quick battlefield inspection, you look, you see the needle bar is showing that eighth of an inch, you're probably good to go. And then you would go forward and do your needle hook timing inspection and make sure that the shuttle and the point of the hook are still lined up with the top of the needle I mean the top of the needle in the mid the hook in the middle of the needle just about an eighth of an inch above the eye of the needle anyway so that's 
we've covered that in another video, so you can find that on the Albane for Leather YouTube channel. Anyway, so uh, hope your day is going well. We'll probably revise this video a couple times to get it really perfect so that we're not mumbling. But uh, anyway, have a great day and pay it forward. Albane for Leather.